Good afternoon. It's nice to see you all here. It's a pleasure to be here in, in Uruguay. And uh, first of all, thank you for the invitation. Uh, it's really an honor to, to see so many people here and, and present a little bit about the, the Danish Hereford breed. Uh, we don't have the same numbers as you have here in Uruguay, but uh, nevertheless, uh, we are very passionate about uh, the Hereford breed in, in, in Denmark. And uh, we would like to share with you a little bit about how we see uh, the breed and, and how we work with uh, the pedigree in, in Denmark. But first of all, a little bit, uh, where are Denmark, or where is Denmark? Uh, somebody call it the, the cold north. Um, I would call it sunny Denmark. Uh, but uh, we are a fairly small country uh, in the Nordics. Uh, and uh, we imported the Hereford in the mid 50s, uh, actually from, from the UK. My father, he was uh, advisor for the Danish Red in dairy industry. Uh, but he was asked for, for some uh, people that uh, advised them to, to get a new, uh, or oh, not a new, but a beef uh, pedigree into Denmark. And the selection was actually Hereford. So he went together with a couple of people to, to England and, and se selected Hereford as, as the third beef cattle in Denmark. And uh, we haven't looked back since. Let's put it like that. Uh, in 2008, uh, my wife Lena and I had the opportunity to uh, host the conference um, and a little bit picture of the garden. Uh, as you see, again, the sun, I think you can recognize it. Um, we also see a guy, I don't know he's here, but I have several pictures. Uh, I tried to find some pictures that I know was part of uh, uh, the group uh, this year. And, and, and on the right, you can see Don in, in, in a younger version than today, but still looking good. Uh, but uh, that was a great opportunity for us to, uh, to see a lot of uh, new faces and, and now they get, uh, became into, let's say, the, the, the fr friend uh, pictures and that, that, that's great. So thank you very much. Um, we also, uh, among other things, got some good gifts and, and, and I hope that we also from Denmark are allowed to, to give some gifts out to, to the ones that have prepared a lot uh, barbecues and everything. I know that we were not able to make it due to the weather, due to the rain, but still we would love to, to give some gifts to all the people that have done a lot of preparation just to make sure that we can come out, around and, and see your farms. Uh, I really feel sorry for the guys that, 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 that was not able to, to uh, open the houses. I know they have used hours and hours just to present it. The two young ones in, 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 uh, in the front um, is my, my son, on the left, Christopher and Josefina on the right. And again, I will say thank you to all our Hereford friends because they have opened the, the houses and the arms for, for, for the family. And, and we think that the Hereford breed is, is, is a big family. And we really enjoy the, the, the openness and, and, and uh, that, that these, both us as, as parents, but also the kids can come around in the world and really have some, some good experiences. So thank you very much to all in, in the Hereford family that, that you're so kind. They get some good experience. Okay, back to the number game. Um, and and I, I use the numbers, or put the numbers in, in the American way. Um, and uh, so uh, the first hertz is 1,642. And I'm not missing any zeros. So this is Little Denmark. We are a few hertz. Um, and, and uh, it's not 12 million cows we have. We have in total around 5,500 Hereford cows. Um, more or less, uh, a little bit more than 50% than of these cows are, are purebred. Uh, we are working a lot about um, a different kind of, uh, let's say, how to improve the, the Hereford breed. And, and at the moment, we, we have a, a focus, as you see, a little bit focus on, on the death rate. Uh, we think it, it's too high for the, the first carver, uh, but still uh, on the mature cow, it, 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 it's still okay. Um, we have a lot of, of, of we, we also see the trend that we get more and more purebred uh, calves uh, compared to, uh, to elves. And, and, and uh, our test station, uh, I don't know how many of you have visited the test station, but we have, in, in, at the moment, we have a, uh, daily grain gain on test station about uh, 1.8 uh, kilo per day. 
Um, and as you see, it, 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 it's still, still growing. So, so we're still focused on this. And at the same time, we are really focused on, on, on the feed efficiency. So you can see it's just for, for the last uh, two years, it has been improved the efficiency. So we only need 4.76 um, uh, food units to get a, a kilo growth. So uh, we're really improving on that. Also on, on the eye masking lot the last two years, but in, on, on a long period, we'll see that later, we can see we really improved uh, on, on the size of the eye muzzle. Um, if we pick on a, on a longer time perspective, uh, let's say the last uh, seven, eight years, um, we have a, unfortunately not a, a EPV program as you have, but we have something called S-Index. Uh, we have, a, this has a long term uh, relationship with these uh, S-Index and, and the reliability on this index is very high. So, uh, but the index for the Hereford has improved for the last seven years, 1.6, which is quite, quite good. Uh, especially, as I said, on, on uh, feeding efficiency, the, the growth, and, and uh, the last part is actually our, uh, uh, what do you call it, pheno, pheno whatever, something. It looks like a half not whatever. So, how do we do actually um, at home? We have uh, a very hard, uh, efficient health program. I guess you all know that. That gives us a good opportunity to uh, export meat all over the world, uh, even to, to the countries that have very high uh, requirements, so Japan, whatever. Uh, so we sell more or less meat uh, worldwide, not in huge portions, but uh, please remember, Denmark is, is mostly a pig country, so the health in, in the pigs and the cattle is, is, is in the same pool, so as long as the entire Denmark is in a good shape, we can export to whatever uh, country we want. Uh, the same thing about um, our livestock export. Uh, due to our health program, we export a lot to different countries. Um, and we have the great opportunity to sell Hereford back to the UK. We really like that. Uh, to Finland, to the Netherlands, to France, or whatever. So we have a lot of exports, also on, on semen and embryos. Um, we just managed to, to uh, export semen back to the U.S. Um, so we think that even though that Denmark is a small country, we have a lot of passionate breeders, and, 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 and we are some kind of a genetic hub for Europe, meaning that we bring in a lot of semen uh, to Denmark, and then we spread it further on to, to different parts of, of uh, Europe. Uh, I just uh, met uh, for a couple of, of minutes ago a guy from Estonia, and he wants to get some, some new uh, uh, animals from, from uh, uh, Denmark. And, and one of his reasons was you have this high health uh, level, so we know that what we, we get from Denmark, that's okay. So thank you very much. Uh, some of our new sires, AI size is, is, or the newest one, is, is this uh, young fella. He's called Keenan 1098. And just for your information, what we look at is, is for instance, daily gain. He's 1.9 kilo per day, uh, a quite high eye muscle compared to the rest, what we have, 88. And, and, and very f efficient on feed, uh, feeding. So this is something that we really focus on. So uh, if you need some, some uh, new semen to your, your, or new genetics to your breed, uh, let's, let's talk. We also have some uh, strong relationships around Europe or in the world. So the Danish judges are used more or less uh, worldwide. Uh, and on the other hand, we love to, to bring in some uh, judges to Denmark. Uh, so I just have samples of, of what we've used uh, in the last five years from, from different countries. Um, this part of my speech is, is the do's and don'ts. Um, so, uh, but, but most of these judges are, are the do's, okay? Uh, now, we really appreciate that you want to, to come over to Denmark, small uh, Denmark, and, and, and share some of your uh, knowledge about cattle, because we are still a small country, but you really give us some, some new inspiration. So thank you very much to take the time to, to come over. Um, also, we need to, we, uh, let, let's face it, in our organization, the, the average race is average age in breeders, they're coming higher and higher, and we really need to 
to do something to, to get some, some youngsters uh, on board. So uh, we have, inspired by Canada, uh, got some uh, established a new program, youth program, and that was established for eight, nine years ago. And it's really successful. I think 20% of our members now is uh, below 25. And so at least we have uh, the new ones to come in. Um, so, so thank you very much to uh, also inspire these young people. And I, I know that a lot of the foreign judges come in and uh, give some new uh, look on this. So thank you. So back on that, again, a, a picture of some of the guys that we saw in Denmark in 2008. We hope to see you all in 2 and 20, if not sooner. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs>